Let's bring in Louisiana Republican Senator John Kennedy. Uh, Senator, about a half an hour from now, there's going to be a grand event on the South Lawn of the White House. President Biden tweeted about it earlier today, saying, quote, exactly four weeks ago, I signed the Inflation Reduction Act into law, so today we're celebrating. Tune in at 3 p.m. Eastern time as I deliver remarks and welcome the leaders and advocates who made it happen to the People's House. When you look at the CPI numbers today, uh, higher than expected when you look at the increase from last month, when you look at the increase in core inflation from last month. Uh, is there a lot to celebrate, in your opinion? Well, the White House, uh, any White House, can always find a, a handful of economists to prostitute themselves and say anything the White House tells them to say. I will note that uh, two prominent Democratic eco economists uh, Mr. Summers, Mr. Furman, uh, have both said that uh, uh, inflation uh, is is gutting the American people like a fish. Certainly, the, uh, the the stock market, the capital markets, as you pointed out, John, are not impressed with the Inflation Reduction Act because they're crashing. They meaning the markets. So this is what the Inflation Reduction Act did. It it, it took a quarter of a trillion dollars out of the pockets of the American people at a time when the economy is slowing, prices are rising, and 401ks are crashing, and gave that money to the Green New Deal uh, industrial complex, which is going to spend that money in a way that will cause energy prices to rise without reducing world temperatures a smidgen of a degree. And, and it represents a gross misallocation of capital. And we're seeing that reflected in the capital markets, the stock markets today. The press secretary just took a question, a few questions on this. Uh, she was challenged on the, the Dow falling as a result of this mm -hmm. really, um, you know, a, a real warning about the American economy and where inflation is going from here. But still, she says we're going to hear from the president a short time ago who said this is reason for celebration. Listen. For uh, some time now, when it comes to his, uh, his number one economic priority is to deal with inflation, is to make sure that we are lowering costs for, Americans pe for, for the American people, for American families, Americans who have to come around the table, uh, you know, once a month in, in particular to figure out how are they going to pay those bills. Again, this is why the event that we're having uh, in less than 45 minutes to, to uh, celebrate and talk, talk about, you're here from the president about the Inflation Reduction Act, is so critical. That is why Democrats and this president uh, took took the you know did the hard work to get that done is to lower costs on health care to lower costs on prescription drugs uh, and uh, and also energy costs as well to be clear we've had the White House on this program uh, senator right. and asked them what exactly will this do to the inflation everybody's experiencing and by their own estimates talking to economists they're still only touting that it'll bring down inflation a small fraction of a percentage point. I mean, so we're not really talking about bringing prices down big time. And the, if the president, to her point, is prioritizing inflation, and this is where we are today, someone should tell him it's not working. Well, I know the president is going to speak in a little bit, but frankly, every time the president speaks, he shows us how much he doesn't know. Uh, I, I don't dislike the president. Is he a perfect person? No. Uh, does he try to get better every day? Also, no. And therein lies the problem. The inflation that we have today was made in Washington. It was made by the Biden administration. And the things that they have been doing are going to make it worse. The Inflation Reduction Act spent, raises taxes, once again, with prices rising and, and an economy slowing. Uh, his His... He didn't forgive student debt. He just transferred that student debt from people who owe it uh, to people who don't owe it. It's a massive expenditure, uh, reduction of income. And all of this, if you talk to economists other than uh, those that just prostitute themselves to a Democratic president, they will tell you that uh, the president does not have a plan to uh, solve the infl inflation problem that he himself created. And the, and the Inflation Reduction Bill, I know why they called it that, but um, un unless, you, uh, unless you still live with your parents, you know that the Inflation Reduction Act 
is a throat punch to the American people at a time when they can least afford to take the blow. It's our understanding, Senator, that the uh, president is going to have some not-so-kind words for you and your Republican colleagues for not supporting right. this act. Apparently, he's also going to sing you a uh, single, uh, not you particularly, but Republicans mm -hmm. out, for opposing the hiring of 87,000 IRS agents, which are critical to this plan. What do you say? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I say that the Internal Revenue Service is uh, not exactly a model of efficiency. I can't think of a an agency in Washington that's more dysfunctional. Uh, they're going to spend that money to, to hire 87,000 people not to improve uh, service to the American people, but to, to target them. And to give you an idea of how many people they add, they're adding after President Biden gets through with growing the IRS, the IRS will have more soldiers or agents than the Israeli army. And some say the entire army in Great Britain. Uh, and I don't think they're there to try to make our lives better. They're going to try to uh, raise taxes indirectly on the American people, the middle class, by uh, auditing them. And when the people can't afford to defend themselves, like hiring a lawyer, they're just going to collect all this extra money and give it to the Green New Deal. Senator, uh, we're talking about a lot of problems here with the economy. We obviously still see serious problems at our southern border uh, with just yeah. today brand new videos showing some of these Ill illegal migrants climbing over the border wall in camouflage, dropping down on a rope and then getting away, many of them. Uh, we see crime spiking in American cities, yet it seems that the potential margin of victory for Republicans in the midterm elections, you can put the real clear politics line chart up showing Democrats are clearly closing the gap here. So are Republicans right. getting their messaging wrong here? Well, I went through this uh, two years ago and two years before that and two years before that. This time, two years ago, Sandra, these so-called experts had uh, Lindsey Graham down by about 10 points. Susan Collins getting beat. They had Tom Tillis getting beat. They had Mitch McConnell getting beat. Um, they all won. And a lot of these pollsters, including but not limited to the ones hired by some of the major newspapers, uh, are, are about as, as good at forecasting the future as some of these late night psychic hotlines you see advertised <laughs> on television. Uh, I don't have a lot of confidence in them. In a lot of the states that uh, they're talking about, these are purple states, basically 50-50 states, and they will be determined by voter intensity, by turnout. Um, I don't think it's a news flash that these races were, were going to be close. Uh, Republicans are being outspent. We're always outspent. But as long as you have enough money to get your message out, uh, we'll be fine. I still think we'll take back the Senate, and I think we'll will take back the House. I will say this to the American people. Look, um, I've tried. R Republicans aren't perfect. They aren't. But the other side's crazy. And I've tried working with the, the zealots in the Biden administration. You can't do it. The only place you're going to find uh, uh, cheaper food and gasoline prices and, and, and sanity is in the voting booth. All right, Senator John Kennedy of Louisiana, it was great to get your thoughts. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.